all new at five tonight. When it comes to travel, are you tired of all the same old Earth destinations? Well, yesterday a spacecraft blasted off from Florida carrying rocket riders to an out of this world getaway. And chief transportation correspondent and veteran pilot herself, Make Beeler, is here with us. This is really exciting because, you know, this really sheds light that any person, you don't have to be an astronaut and you can go to space, but also really how quickly human uh, space flight is really being talked about. It's coming to the conversation. It's a great time to be alive. So beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> Do you have plans for Memorial Day weekend? Well, I bet they can't top this. Folks, imagine being one of three paying passengers enjoying a vacation kind of of sorts right now on the International Space Station. Yeah, it's happening. So the SpaceX X2 mission, it blasted off from Florida yesterday on the second all private mission to the orbiting outpost. Now, if you dream of space flight, so many of us do, it's becoming a little closer for all of us thanks to more private space companies making it possible for average folks with deep pockets and or the right connections. So are you ready to launch? Here's what you need to know. First, the cost, oh boy, the ticket for the current <laughs> SpaceX flight, the folks up there now, $55 million per customer to be aboard ISS. Yeah. All right, Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic offers tickets to uh, for just a low $450,000 per rocket ride. That's for suborbital flight. Now that's for a few minutes of zero G bliss. In addition to the ride, you get access to the future astronaut community that currently has 700 members waiting to be assigned launch dates. Included at no extra charge, astronaut training, and I love this, custom Under Armour spacesuits and boots, according to the company website. Then, folks, there's Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin. You probably remember it, best known for famous civilian celebrity rocket riders like mm -hmm. Star Trek's William Shatner and Aviatrix Wally Funk. Oldest astronauts ever, folks. Well, they were gifted with honorary free rides while the youngest rider's dad, well, he had to pay 208, to, excuse me, let me say it again, $28 million, yeah. All right, so what can you expect to pay? According to various sources, tickets run uh, around $250,000 per seat, that's for a brief suborbital 11 minute space tourism experience. Higher prices, longer duration, higher altitude for, for other things. So, mm. now listen, let me finish here now. Still okay. too pricey? Grab a cheap seat. A cheap seat, <laughs> yeah. From space sure. perspective, this is a company that's offering for only $125,000 a six hour balloon ride into the stratosphere, get this, the pressurized cabin includes a bathroom and a bar with an ocean splashdown flight start in 2024. We it's, did a story on that. It's uh -huh. cheap, yeah. so I guess that's why you Yeah, splash cheap, 125, they yeah. better have open bar for that price. And that's why you splash down <laughs> in the ocean because it's the cheap seat. Very no, interesting very stuff. Yeah, okay, very well, exciting. so let's, let's just pretend for a moment that we do have money pouring out of our ears here. Uh, if someone did want to book, how do they sign up for this? You know, you got to go on the websites mm -hmm. for these space okay. companies. The little forms easy, huh? you fill out, and even SpaceX has an email address: wow. human spaceflight at SpaceX. All right, I'm I'm getting on that right away. I'm sure See, proof of financing would have to be yeah, something shucks. that you present. I mean, Morgan first asked at the beginning of the segment, "Hey, are you are you tired of earthly travel?" I feel like the first thing that came to my mind was price. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just so yeah. out of out of you know the budget. Two hundred and fifty. $125,000. I know. It's know. getting better. Dream give, give big. Give me two ninety nine. dollars make Dream it. big. <laughs> give me $3.99. Right. This is America. Dream big. Yeah. Dream big. You're right.